How are your friends? How's it going? Hey, well, I'm back in Bogota and now I'm going to show you a video that I love it because it happened a few days ago when I was in my hometown. I visited this place and it reminded me what I used to do when I was living in my hometown right after lunch, after school, after university, go to the river, swim a little bit, get in contact with the nature and I think that's that's a part of our character that's one of the reasons that we love our region that we love our forest that we love our jungle our waters for me that's a pleasure to show you this that's a part of me that's part of me that's part of who i am so before getting into the videos i need to ask you a favor hey you know i would love to i would love that more people get to know my region and i know that I, that a lot of people are interested to know where I am from. So if you help me to share this video in your social media, that will be awesome. I will really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do it. It won't take you a lot of time, but it will certainly have a positive impact in this community that we are building. So thank you so much. Here are the videos. Stay at the end because I'm going to share you how to get to those places really easy and maybe if i'm there uh, we can go together that would be also cool thank you so much see you at the end hello friends how are you right now i'm one of my favorite places in my hometown this is a beautiful cascade this is a beautiful waterfall not far from the town actually this place is private but i wanted to have the opportunity to recharge my energy so I decided to come and visit this place. I'm going to show you a little bit around. I'm sorry for the sound because I came without my microphone. But anyway, I just wanted to share this place with you guys. What you have to know about my hometown is that nature is a really powerful energy. Here we have so many rivers and cascades and waterfalls like these ones okay this is artificial one this is an artificial one but it's also really nice this is a place that was created by human taking advantage of nature but it's great i love it and i think the most important thing about these kind of places is that they allow us to appreciate nature appreciate the magic that surrounds us so that's what you have to know from Mokoa, from the region of Putumayo. Nature is powerful, we're surrounded by magic and it's great. In these kind of places where the ones that we used to came and take a shower, take a deep bath after school, that was amazing. I'm still doing that. And this is just one of the places and probably this is this is an isolated one it's kind of it's not that easy to come here like it takes a little bit of effort but we have other ones that are located just five minutes ride on a motorcycle or 20 minutes 30 minutes walking from the downtown that's awesome I just came for a week to spend some time with my family, uh, to see some friends, but I, I, I really wanted to take advantage of coming to the nature and having a bad swim a little bit in these powerful rivers and in this beautiful small waterfall. We have some really big ones also, like Fin del Mundo or Noyaco, I love them. And I will show you some pictures and some videos later about it. But for now, this is where I am and where I feel blessed and lucky about the heat of being alive. I love to see the green of the forest how it moves, 
how the plants are moving all the time. Even if there is no wind, they're always moving. It's like they have magic. I love that. I love that from this place. And this is, here is where I learned to appreciate nature, to appreciate life. Thanks for watching this video. Those who are interested in visiting this place, this place is called Samawe. The entrance fee costs around 15 15 mil pesos, 15,000 pesos, like around three dollars, maybe a little bit less. It's cheap and it's beautiful. No, three dollars, four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. This is a small waterfall, a nature one. Uh, and I already took a shower over there and it was so good. It was delicious. I hope you accept my apologies because that day I wasn't with my microphone. I didn't bring my microphone, so yeah, the sound wasn't perfect. But I just wanted to share this that moment of magical uh, introspection, that that magical approach, that appreciation of the moment that I had. Anyway, here we are now to share you to to tell you a little bit more about my region. Okay, so. First of all, I come. I, I came from a from a city called Mokoa, which is located in Putumayo. Putumayo is a department. So Putumayo has. It, it's really easy to access. Sometimes I make jokes and I say that you have to play Jumanji to get into Mokoa, but actually that's false. We have we have so we have three airports. So we have one in Villa Garzón, which is the closest one to Mokoa, my city. We have another one, a bigger one, which is uh, located in Puerto Assis. And another far, far away in Puerto Leguizamo, which is like the most isolated town in my region, most isolated city in my region. It's also beautiful, and but we're staying in Mokoa right now. Mokoa, it's okay. It's really easy to reach, also by bus or by car. There is a road that connects Mokoa with Bogota, so it takes, of course. Some, some hours, it takes like 14 hours, 13, 14 hours, uh, but it's really easy to get there. And Mokoa has several rivers, has a lot of rivers surrounding the area because we're like in, in between so many mountains, like we have like, yeah, they're like the Cordillera de los Andes, the, the chain of mountains of the Andes, not far from here. And we have also next to our town, the Amazonas. And we're in between, so we're not up in the mountains, but we're not in the jungle, in the Amazonas jungle. So we're in between many, so many mountains, and that creates a bunch of waterfalls and rivers, crystal clear waters, cold waters, but they are delicious and they are they recharge, they give you a lot of energy. And also in my region, we have several other waterfalls, as I told you. For example, the famous, the most famous one is Fin del Mundo. I haven't been there lately, but it's really, really cool. And we have also another bigger one called Orno Yaco. Orno Yaco is amazing because it's like an oven, so like an old oven. So it's really cool. And it has like a, the waterfall is like, I don't know, I think 70 meters or something like that. Yes, we have all those kind of things. and. Like to reach those places, you have to walk a little bit, like two hours or something like that. But if you don't have so many time, like five minutes on a motor ride, 10 minutes on a motor ride, you could reach some real crystal, clear, crystal clear rivers that I love them. So yeah, that's basically my hometown. Uh, that time I went to Hotel Samawe. Hotel Samawe, okay, Hotel Samawe 
it's the owner. The owner is is the type of people that I, I really like to share to spend time with, because he's a guy that believes in his dream, that believes in in what it's what he's doing. So this guy is pretty passionate about what he's doing. His name is Carlos Urazo, and so we made to talk a little bit, and he told me about his project, and it's the type of person that you believe that what in what they are doing because they know they they look so confident about this about what they are doing so it's really cool and you know what that day that day there were some people that were about to have a jahe ceremony like ayahuasca ceremony i don't know if you hear about that ayahuasca or jahe it's a it's a medicine or it's like a sacred plant that indigenous people used to get in contact with nature, with the spirits of nature, and to heal their bodies, to heal their minds, to heal their spirits. So it's really, really cool. Uh, that's something really typical from our region, and of course from the Andes region, from the indigenous of South America. So that's a sacred plant for us. Well, and they were about to have a, a Jahe ceremony. I was not prepared, I didn't have the time, but next time, I would love to to be part of this ceremony. Um, it gives you some hallucinations, so but it's not like a, it's not a drug. That's something really important. It's not a recreational drug. This is something sacred for the indigenous, and it's aimed to heal pain, to heal a, whatever needs to be healed in our brains, in our minds in our body. That was my experience in Hotel Samawe. Later on, I will show you another video of another really cool place that I loved. And I and I just visited for the first time uh, this time, this week, because it's brand new. And uh, also, it's close to a really beautiful river that I have never been there before. But that's subject for another video. That's all for now. Thank you so much. Remember, please help me to share this video in your social media. I would love to, I would love if more people get to know Mokoa and Putumayo because it's a beautiful place and it's also a way to protect our, our nature. If people get in contact with nature, if people get to know the nature, get to be conscious, get to be conscious of what they have, where they are, it's more likely to protect these areas. So thank you so much. Follow me on social media. See you in next video. Bye-bye.